So today is going to be a favorites video and this is kind of a collective favorites kind of November and December uh, Just because I didn't get a November favorites up for you guys So let's start off with the new and improved Violet Voss. This is the Holy Grail palette Hashtag my Holy Grail palette and I couldn't agree more with the name the first one I actually might have even I probably did put it in a favorites video when the first one launched uh, just because this is one palette I seem to pack with me a lot when I'm on vacation or anywhere I go just because it's a neutral palette that's warm it has berry colors it has orangey colors it has shimmer colors gold colors all of the colors that I tend to really pick up and use a lot so yeah like I said this is new and improved the formula I when I first had actually got the email from Violet Voss that they were doing this I was like new and improved I thought the first palette was gorgeous and the texture of the shadows were beautiful but this one guys they're so buttery and you barely have to touch any of the product of the uh, little pans and they're just so so pretty this color um, I did actually find one of the colors the so jelly color in the other palette is a little bit different it's not quite as duochrome -y. and when i swatched this one i was like oh okay now i see what you guys are talking about this is the color so jelly i don't see if you can pick it up here it's so pretty it's like peachy and champagne and pink it's like that like i said duochrome it's so stunning this just shows like it's still on my hands and i just swatched it quick on the back i should have done a better swatch but you can see they're so pigmented and this color right here the color toffee i'm in love with as well oh they're just gorgeous love this palette this is like this is a holy grail palette like totally next is not a beauty product but it's a fashion product and i've been obsessed with this bag this is from teddy blake it is so teddy blake is like a designer type of handbag but they are they're not astronomically expensive they're very similar to a lot of the higher end designer bags but they're not in the thousands of dollars but you still get the same quality of the leather the italian leather and this is the 11 inch eva bag i believe i will leave all of the description down below as well guys so i reached out to teddy blake and I actually got a coupon code for you guys which i leave down below and yeah this is really cool because is it is it gray is it beige it's like i call it grayish if that's a color <laughs> uh just because you could wear it with anything like a warmer tone or a cool tone and you can still pull it off i've worn it with gray and with beige and it is perfect and it's like such a perfect neutral bag so let's just open this up i just want to show you the inside i actually prefer wearing it like this i think it looks super shiki deaky oh shiki deaky i've been watching too many desi perkins snaps but anyways uh so yeah you go like this you take it off and then inside it's funny because it's a, it's a smaller bag, which I tend to really enjoy. I can't really carry a large bag. I have scoliosis and whenever I carry a large bag, I tend to put more shit in it and it really hurts my back. Stay away from like packing the bag full. But on the other hand, this bag actually holds a lot. I've been loving this bag this month and I love the little feet on it as well because it just stands up. You can see it's so sturdy. That's also I'm a huge thing about bags that don't like fall when you put it down because like searching through it which i really like and yeah so that's my second favorite on to some lips i actually have this on you guys know if i do favorite videos i try to put some of the stuff on my face so you can see what it looks like so this is by lime crime this is in the color eclipse this is brand new um i did receive it uh, a little bit before it actually came out uh, so I've been playing around with this color and it is so beautiful this time of year that sultry red lip but it has like an iridescent let's see if we can pick it up it has an iridescent uh, metallic quality to it and it's one of those I find that with a lot of the lime crime some other ones too but lime crime in particular when you put on a metallic liquid lipstick of theirs after you put it on and right before it dries if you just take your finger and go doo -doo 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 -doo, it makes it even more metallic -y, so you kind of have that option to make it 
super metallic or like a little bit less, which I love that. And I've actually never heard anybody talk about that, but it definitely works. So if you don't want a super crazy look and just a little metallic, leave it as so, or you can go like and rub it in a little bit and it, all of those like little metallic-y sparkles just like boom, come out. Onto another lip product. This is uh, by Pure Cosmetics and this is in collaboration with JD Wady 180 on Instagram and also on here on YouTube. And this is in the color Mirror Mirror. She had a bunch of different lip products in her collection, but this one is my absolute favorite. This is the perfect color pink gloss. I'm gonna swatch it here for you guys. It, I feel like it makes your lips look so luscious, <laughs> if that's weird to say, but it does. It's, and I, oh, and by the way too, I love the doe foot applicator on the Pure Cosmetics, all of their lip products. Can you see it there? It's like angled and it has the teeniest tip and it gives you such precise application. And that is it swatched right here, mirror, mirror. Such a beautiful gloss over pink, over a nude. It is so beautiful, it is so glossy, it is iridescent, it's just, oh so gorgeous. Now for some skincare, this is from Must Have, and I actually talked about this brand. This is a new brand to me. I spoke about this brand on my holiday makeup look, the first one that I had uploaded, the uh, sparkly lid with the red cut crease, and these masks, guys, oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, so these are sheet masks, which first I adore sheet mask. It's such a pampering thing to do, like just a nice thing to do for yourself when you're at home. You feel like you're a little bit in a spa type of situation. And the one thing though I have a problem with masks is actually all of the sheet masks I have ever tried is them slipping off and not forming to my face. But these ones do not. They cling to your face. You don't have to like sit back on the couch like this, like with normally, like when it's on your face without, out, without it falling. These ones are amazing. And not to mention the quality of them. The particular package has a bunch of different ones in it. They actually come with four. Um, I used the last one that I had of the moisturizing one. We have a vitamin sadness mask, cooling anger mask. They have the funny uh, little faces on them. And then the whitening one. All of these masks I'm just obsessed with, but this, the moisturizing one, it left my skin feeling so plump and hydrated and amazing. A sheet masks do tend to do that, but especially these ones. And what a sheet mask does is once you put it on your skin, when a typical moisturizer or serum when you put it on your face or a very thick moisturizer that's supposed to be moisturizing the majority of them evaporate into the air and not onto your skin so if you think that you put it on your like a skin any skincare right let's say that you put skincare on your face and then you were to put a shield or a mask on over it that's basically what it's doing because these sheet masks have all of these skincare properties inside it so it just like suffocates all of that into your skin and it doesn't evaporate it doesn't go anywhere. It has nowhere to go but in your skin and that's why I'm obsessed with sheet masks and especially these, they are, these are phenomenal. I actually have another product from Must Have that I have been obsessed with. These are all the little pigments, right? Hold on, let me hold these for you, right here. I actually used this one in the holiday makeup tutorial in the color Opal, which is gorgeous. But my favorite probably from the whole collection that I have is in the color Starlight and took a little bit out here so you guys can see, but I'm gonna swatch it here for you too. This color you can use on your eyes, you put it on your lips, but you guys know probably where I would like to put it or where I do put it and that is as a highlight. Look at that guys, how gorgeous. It is this most beautiful pink highlight. I, like I said, it's you could use it anywhere, but as a highlight it has pink in it, it has a peach in it, it is so stunning and the way it reflects light is out of control. Next is this powder. This is by Benefit. This is the Hello Flawless and I'm in the color Honey and that's it right there. This is the perfect color for my skin tone. And it's funny, even if I have a little bit of a fake tan going on or no tan at all, it still kind of works for me. I don't know, it's a perfect color for my complexion. But anyways, besides that, this powder is, I know when you say powder, you think powdery, but this to set your foundation is amazing. So I am a full coverage girl, honey. I love my full coverage foundation. And this is a full coverage um, powder foundation. So you could use this alone by itself as your foundation, or you could use it as mine as kind of like a setting 
powder for your face that's the color right here it is so smooth it's so buttery and it does not get into your pores it just gives you a beautiful canvas and like I said it's not powdery looking it's so velvety feeling another powder I have been dying over so you guys know if you watch my channel that I'm obsessed with the RCMA no color colorless powder to bake but it's got some competition I have to say this is the new cover FX translucent light they have two of them they have the translucent deep I believe they only have two they could have more but these are the two that I have translucent deep and translucent light and it does have a little bit of color in it but it fades away as soon as you bake and then like take it off you don't have to use it to bake you could use it to set your face um, what I have been doing is I've been using this color to bake and it does not seep into your fine lines it is it doesn't make you powdery looking I'm like such a stickler for that I hate makeup that looks powdery. I mean, I think I'm probably with the majority of people. I like a very dewy sort of finish. I like to set my face like fully and then spritz a setting spray and then also like highlight to the god so it doesn't make you look powdery. But this on its own, it, it is it doesn't look powdery even before you use a setting spray. And like I said, it does not set into your fine lines underneath your eyes. I have a big problem with that, especially for the winter. I live in New York and it is dry AF here. So anything to make me look less like tired and I find that a lot of other setting powders when I set my concealer make me look like tired and old which nobody wants but this one is so beautiful okay next I'm just gonna talk about this quick because I have a whole video kind of dedicated to it but this is the little steamer I had done in my makeup water trick um, makeup tutorial and this is amazing to set your face and just to spritz throughout the day I'm obsessed I'm not gonna talk about it too much because I had like I said a huge video dedicated to it I will leave the link down below so you can check it out if you guys are interested but trust me you will not be disappointed go watch that video it is amazing next is a product from Mac I also did a full review on these as well but I wanted to give you like a little bit of an update especially on this I've been obsessed with this how many say times do we say obsessed but we are doing a favorites video right so this is the collaboration yeah with Mariah Carey and Mac cosmetics I also yeah I wanted to talk about it again because I will leave the information down below but I believe it's coming out again or no I know it's for sure coming out again but I forget the exact date I will leave it down below because when this came out everybody was going crazy because the collection is insane it is so beautiful it's one of the prettiest collections I have ever seen and I play with a lot of makeup so yeah this is the what is this called this is the touch my body loose powder and it comes in this little powder puff here and I actually have it on my whole well I have it like loosely all over my chest and I have a little bit on my collarbone I also put a little bit um, right over my bronzer because it is a darker sort of highlight for me and I'm gonna show you here the little puff is so cute this is so gorgeous on the skin look at that it, it gives you the most beautiful rose gold sheen it is stunning on the skin on the shoulders on the decollete on your eyes on your cheeks anywhere it is so pretty onto another highlighting product this is by Jouer this is their little mini ones this is in the color ice this is their powder highlight now Jouer has powder and cream highlights and I love this one though this color is it's very unique but it's it's not a unique color that not everybody can wear I feel like like it's not a bold like violet or really pink color but it's really unique in the fact that it's a whitish champagne and then it has a little bit of a peachy pink undertone in certain lights so that's a very harsh swatch right here I will blend it out so you can see what it would actually look like on the cheek oh actually it's what I have on <laughs> there you go so yeah that's what it looks like on the cheeks it's so beautiful I love Jouer's uh, highlighters because they are so creamy so stunning this is another collaboration this is also again from pure cosmetics and this is in collaboration with Angel Marino or Mac Daddy as you guys know on Instagram these are the eye polishes I love Pure's eye polishes but I adore this color that he created so this is in the color King of Hearts and it is a plummy mm, I would say actually eggplant so it's an eggplant purple color but then it has these beautiful like warm toned violet sparkles in it so that's it swatched right here and then I'm gonna buff it out into the skin so you can see the gorgeous reflex that it has 
and that's it right there oh my god this for a purple smoky eye is <gasps> delicious it's just so gorgeous and I love the formula of like I said of the eye polishes because there's no primer or there's no extra step that you have to do you just put it on your lids you tap it in I find it works best with your fingertip or one of those micro mini beauty blenders and it gives you the most beautiful almost it almost gives you a glossy eye look without putting like a gloss on your uh, eyelid. It's so pretty. Last but not least are these brushes from Royal Land Nickel. I have been really loving Royal Land Nickel's brushes. They're like stepping up their game with these innovative, really pretty brushes. So the first one is a set and I don't think I have the whole set here, but um, this is what I have in my hands. These are actually my favorite from the set. I think there's one more. But anyways, uh, these brushes, first of all, they look like a, it's like a unicorn. Look at them. I just want to give it Let's have them dance for a second. Ooh, <laughs> they're so pretty. And the bristles, the way that they're on the the oval type of brush, some of the oval brushes I have find a hard time that they're so stiff and there's so many bristles packed in too tightly that when you blend it, it pulls the skin. And if, not even over the age, I was gonna say, you should never pull your skin because you're gonna lose elasticity and it's not good for your skin. So when you place this on and you start rubbing in, if you see your skin moving first, you're probably pressing too hard. And second of all, the bristles are probably too tightly packed in. These type of brushes, the over brushes, like I said, I find that problem with it, but these don't and they are beautiful to blend out. And like I said, look at the color. I mean, come on. All right, so that, yes, so that is it guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. I probably won't see you guys before Christmas. This will probably be my last video before the holidays. And uh, I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy, I don't care what you celebrate. It's just all about spending time with your family and loved ones. And I just want to let you guys know I love you so much. And until next time, I'll see you later.